Question, were you able to read that entire note without pausing the video? That was the amount of time that Uthman had the note in his line of eyesight before he showed it to David Wood and passed it to him. In David Wood's recent discussion with Uthman, someone comes up to Uthman during the debate, almost like it's planned, and says, car is a rental, then hands Uthman a piece of paper. Let's watch it. I got you, I got you. Dr. David Ecker. Okay. Car is a rental. Oh, so your little friends? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> read it, read it, read it. Sheikh Uthman, we know your car. We know your house. Stop Dawa or die, Saints of Sam. Where was this? Wow. Cars don't handle. Can we see that? spell Dawa wrong. Can we spell Uthman wrong? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went to the car to go get some drinks. But uh, whoever put this on my car, um, first thing, my name is spelled with a TH. <laughs> my name is spelled Second thing. Right. Yeah, you, 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 the shake is not, even David wouldn't know you didn't spell shake right, and you spell Dawa wrong. This is Dua. <laughs> Keep this, but uh, uh, you know what? We'll deal with this later. Okay, go, ahead. go ahead. You can check that for fingerprints, by the way. Yeah, Although mine are on it now. So. David Wood put it on there! <laughs> Alright, so. We don't care about their fingerprints, we don't care about their threats. You guys can threat all you want, the Dawa is not stopping. Alright, so. The first hint that it's fake is that he looks at it for under three seconds. There's absolutely no way he can read that entire piece of paper, that entire note in under three seconds. Then he has a big smile on his face and asks David if it's from one of his friends. He hands it to David, asks him to read it. But why would you ask David to read it out loud for the camera? There's no way that you absorbed all of that information within a matter of three seconds. This was clearly planned. He probably said to his people that the next time David or someone from the apologist group comes to write something like that. But he didn't get the response from David that he wanted. Nothing to get enough clickbait, enough views from. And notice that when the Muslim brings him the note, he says that the car is a rental. It seems like they didn't even agree on the script. The Muslim says that the car is a rental, but Uthman goes on to say that it's his car. So which is it? Is it his car or is it a rental? They didn't even agree on the script. Cars don't handle. Uh, whoever put this on my car. So is it a rental car or is it Uthman's car? Come on guys, if you're gonna fake something like this, at least be on the same page. Let's examine the note more closely. First of all, it reeks of Mohammedans because of the illiteracy, the inability to spell things. Just think about it. If you're familiar with who Uthman is, then it's through YouTube, which means you see how his name is spelled. You know how to spell his name. If you're going to address him, you'd spell his name correctly. Second, who are these Saints of Sam? Anyone can do a simple Google search on them. You get about two pages of results and you're going to see that all of the hits are related to this incident. Uthman, Saints of Sam, this note. And then you'll get a hit about two links that have newspaper articles from the 1950s in Texas. There's no group called Saints of Sam. This was entirely made up. And furthermore, Christians would not call themselves saints of and then name someone. Saints of God, saints of the Most High. But Christians don't call themselves saints of David, saints of Sam. No. The Islamic equivalent, slaves of Muhammad, slaves of Ali. Maybe you Muslims do that, but Christians do not. He's trying to purposely misspell things to make it seem like it's coming from a non-Muslim. As if that's not obvious, as if that's not something Muslims are known for doing. Muslims are known for faking hate crimes, they're known for faking these types of letters. In 2012, there was a murder of a Muslim woman who everybody thought was killed by an anti-Islamic bigot racist. Why? Because the family who killed her, her husband and her son, faked a note. They faked a death threat and they forged it saying things like, go back to your country, you're a terrorist, and etc. So these murderous Muslims, husband and son, tried to frame the killing of their mother, their wife, on Islamophobes by creating a fake note and sending it to the FBI and authorities. This is something that Muslims do. They fake hate crimes and all sorts of other unethical, disgusting things, trying to pin it on other people, when it's they themselves who are doing these things. So, Uthman, we know your tactic, we know this tactic, we know that you're a showman for the camera. Check this out. So there's no. Have you been to Hayvaz? They're under the same. Have you been there? No. I have. Okay. This guy's never even been there. Wait, wait, wait. 
Oops, oops, David did it again. As you can see, he plays for the camera. He does it for laughs, for clicks, for attention. That's all it is. He doesn't do it for the truth. That's how you know that he's the exact type of person who will fake a death threat just for attention. To recap why this is most likely fake is number one, given the fact that he asked David to read it after seeing it for under three seconds, tells me that he's either seen this letter before so he's seen the letter before, he knows the content on the letter, or he knows what's written on it, maybe he hasn't seen it, but he knew what was going to be written on it, and then he just passed it over to David to make a show for the camera. But he didn't get what he wanted, so he said we'll deal with it later. Second, there doesn't seem to be any group of people named Saints of Sam, and there's certainly no Christian organization or Christian group that would ever call themselves that. And then three, Muslims have a history of faking hate crimes, and specifically faking these sort of death notes. And there's probably more. So why don't you guys write in the comments other reasons for why you think that this is fake. Alhamdulillah, some brothers found this death threat on my car today. Sheikh Uthman, they misspelled Sheikh and Uthman. We know your car, we know your house. Stop, do what they misspelled Dawah or die. The saints of Sam. You saints, you devils, you guys do whatever you want. We're not stopping Dawah. This is what I think is your death threat. You know my house, you know my car. Come do something. 